Pacific Crucible, War at Sea in the Pacific, 1941-1942, by Ian W. Toll is a meticulously researched and beautifully written account of the early stages of World War II in the Pacific theater. Toll's narrative takes the reader on a gripping journey through the complex web of events, characters, and strategies that shaped the course of the war in this crucial theater. Through vivid storytelling and detailed analysis, Toll paints a vivid picture of the conflict's dramatic unfolding, highlighting the strategic and personal aspects of the war at sea. One of Toll's most notable strengths is his ability to humanize the individuals involved in this grand historical drama. He goes beyond the usual list of military leaders and introduces readers to lesser-known figures who played pivotal roles in the early Pacific battles. By focusing on both the major players and the unsung heroes, Toll creates a multidimensional narrative that provides a more complete understanding of the war's human cost and complexity. The book is structured chronologically, beginning with the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor and continuing through the early months of 1942. This chronological approach allows Toll to explore the evolving strategies and tactics of both the Allied and Japanese forces as they grapple with the challenges of naval warfare in the vast Pacific Ocean. Readers are given a front-row seat to the strategic decision-making processes on both sides, as well as the often brutal realities of naval combat. Toll's vivid descriptions of naval battles are a highlight of the book. His ability to convey the chaos, tension, and sheer terror of these engagements is remarkable. Whether it's the Battle of the Coral Sea, the Battle of Midway, or the countless smaller skirmishes, Toll's narrative keeps readers on the edge of their seats. He also excels in explaining the technical aspects of naval warfare without overwhelming the reader with jargon making the book accessible to both military history enthusiasts and general readers. One of the central themes that emerges from Toll's analysis is the importance of intelligence and code-breaking in the Pacific theater. He highlights the critical role played by code-breakers like Joseph Rockefeller, whose team managed to decode Japanese naval communications. This intelligence allowed the Allies to anticipate Japanese movements and gain a crucial advantage in battles like Midway. Toll's exploration of the intelligence war adds depth to the narrative and underscores the significance of these behind-the-scenes efforts. Additionally, Toll delves into the cultural and political aspects of the conflict. He examines the racial prejudices and stereotypes that influenced the attitudes of both sides and explores how these attitudes affected decision-making. Toll also addresses the broader geopolitical context, including the shifting alliances and rivalries between the United States, Britain, and Australia. This broader perspective helps readers understand the complex web of relationships that shaped the Pacific theater. While Toll's narrative is primarily focused on the naval aspects of the war, he also provides insight into the broader context of the conflict. He discusses the interplay between the naval and land campaigns and the strategic importance of various Pacific islands. This holistic approach allows readers to see how the naval battles fit into the larger strategy of the war in the Pacific. In terms of style, Toll's writing is both engaging and evocative. He has a gift for crafting descriptive prose that brings the scenes and characters to life. His meticulous research is evident in the wealth of details he provides, from the inner workings of naval vessels to the personal experiences of sailors and officers. This attention to detail adds depth and authenticity to the narrative. In conclusion, Pacific Crucible, War at Sea in the Pacific, 1941-1942, is a masterful work of historical writing that offers a comprehensive and engaging account of the early Pacific battles of World War II. Ian W. Toll's narrative skills, attention to detail, 
and ability to humanize the participants make this book a must-read for anyone interested in the history of the Pacific Theater. It is a testament to the bravery and sacrifice of those who fought in this pivotal chapter of history and a reminder of the enduring impact of their actions.